Welcome with us, folks, to this first edition of 2022 Trade Recaps. Um, today, we played Tesla. that had great news on this record-breaking number of deliveries that they had in 2021. Um, this took a lot of people by surprise because the price was going down. And as of last week, if you were in with us on our last podcast on Friday, we discussed about what we thought Tesla would do um, after the delivery numbers would come out. And we all agreed that if numbers were great, um, obviously it would start to skyrocket. However, numbers weren't great. What numbers were ahead of what everyone was expecting. Um, if we look at what happened last week in the, in the um, on the one hour chart, look at this. I mean, it's it's all looking down. There is a, a line of support there, but it's all going down. And it looked like it was priced in as people did not expect that much of a breakout, that much of a um, high number of deliveries. And look at what happened. I mean, on the delivery numbers, it just exploded. So let's go to the five minute chart because this is the important part. Um, yes, there's a huge gap up, huge gap up in the morning. And a lot of people are like, eh, I'm not super keen on playing the gap up because there's a lot of chances that it will fill on the way down. But wait a minute, you have all of wall street expecting the whole thing to be not as good as they printed numbers were excellent. I believe they were 16% um, higher than expected. Um, so basically you have a ticker that is taking everyone by surprise. You will have a lot of short sellers that are caught with their pants down. And this is exactly, I'll show you what I was looking at. Look at the pre-market. I'm a really putting a lot of attention to this pre-market activity. Here is the last support that I will see before this bridge, uh, this gap is, br uh, is bridged on the way down. Last support is here. If I were to trade on, if I were to trade the stock. Now look at the movement. It starts to move up and it goes to what? This is all pre-market, right? This is pre-market until 9.30. This is the, uh, the first, volume bar, that's the 930 bar, right? So up until here is pre-market right there. So ticker is moving up, up to this point, right? And then it consolidates and then all of a sudden uh, it starts moving up. You see this volume is rising pre-market as well. This is drawing my attention because it keeps on climbing all the way to um, before the bell. And at the bell, it dips basically very, very close to this line, right? Let me take all of this off. Now, please follow me here. I tell you a lot about this and this pre-market support is extremely important, right? It dips to this was, used to be resistance, now it's support. It starts climbing. Now it started very, very quickly. I thought it would dip down maybe to this line, but it did. And when you see that, as soon as it cleared the pre-market high, this is where I was like, okay, we go in. So as soon as it broke pre-market high, I was looking for a downturn. If you take, if you buy when it's going up, um, you're paying extremely high premium. So what, what I'm doing is if it starts going up, I'm looking for on the one minute, you know, a chance that it comes down a little bit. So you see premium is pushed down and then it starts moving back up. Now we have a lot of time, a lot of the times we're, we're, we're trading Tesla. What happens is, you know, you see it starts rising extremely quickly and this is what i was kind of afraid of because 
as soon as the market opened, we were breaking above this pre-market high and it started rising. We could have gone directly extremely hot. It's not what happened. And a lot of people and a lot of you people um, DM'd me saying, well, it's moving down and what are we doing? Right? Because we were take we took the 1250 C's. It's out of the money, and 1250, just so you know, is higher than all-time high on Tesla. And we're taking something that is higher than all-time high on a weekly, which only has five days of trading to go, because if I include today. So basically we're taking the trade as it broke the pre-market high, it dipped under. Okay. Now, this is what you do. A lot of people will say, okay, I have a 20% stop loss. Well, 20% on Monday is not 20% on Tuesday. Well, the price movement of the ticker is different as you get closer to expiration. So we took 1250. And I'll show you why in a moment. But I want to tell I want to let you know. Let me zoom in on this so you can you can all see what I mean about playing support and resistance let's go back here and i'll put the old show you here you know the higher pre-market this is the line for higher pre-market and this is what happened we're at pre-market we get to this high so basically um as soon as we break this line i'm extremely I'm happy and I want to get in. It dipped. Where to? Support. Remember the high of the pre market? Um, before it started breaking, you know, this this line. But there was a there was a resistance line. This resistance line is the new support right at the gate. We hit that support. Yes, this could have been a very good entry point. Um, However, I was under the impression that it would have dipped maybe a little further down because we didn't start all um, all of a sudden to move above the pre-market high. No, it, we went for a little a little bit of uh, profit taking, and then we hit this support line, which was the old resistance line support, and then we started moving up. As soon as we cross that, this is where I I am. Um, decided to enter my uh, position and then it started moving down from here to there because of all of these two guys here premiums were jacked big time big time price was up big time um, and we all saw that it didn't take much from the high part the high point here to the low point there I believe there was almost a 50% drop in option prices now market makers love this why because they're making sure that a lot of people will have second thoughts you'll have second thoughts because you're like hmm okay I'm losing a lot of my premiums however this is if only if you look at your PL if you don't look at your PL and if you look at the chart itself, the support was the old resistance line, and it, we're not even there yet. See? The support, if you look at the ticker, we open. This is the low of the day. We're moving up, coming down. Oh, yeah, it's coming down. But this creates a higher low. So basically, no one is selling. Everyone's buying. I mean, if we had lost the slow and then we started to lose, making lower lows, well, now it would have been a lot different. However, you have record delivery numbers and you have a ticker that is extremely bullish on, on the day. However, when this happens, you see this big red candle, you can say, hmm, why am I going down? Why is this ticker going down while everyone is expecting it to go up? Now, 
take this you have to look at the rest of the market and for that i'll take you to the spy chart just for a second now this is the spy chart as we opened today and look this is the higher pre-market and if we want to be consistent with, with, consistent with what i just told you now you would expect that if this were to break above we would become bullish however it's not the case we went down the spree market and as soon as the market started uh, open we did not even cross this line so basically we became bearish however 945 that's where we had this big drop on spot if you look at back a little bit zoom out are we breaking support going any lower look at this line i'll put a line here at near 474 which is old support I'm sure you guys all see this now this is the old support now it dipped a little under but it became support again higher low and all these lines here are pretty much the same you guys all agree with that now this becomes support so you see that all those spies started to look dramatic from you know at 477 plus to down to 473 you know it's 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 a huge drop in a few can in just a few candles so you could expect the rest of the market to do the same thing which which is exactly what um tesla did however as soon as you get bullish you know you get some uh bulls entering the market and then from this line up to there you can be sure that anything that has a lot of bullish volume in it will continue because strength is on their side let's go back to now we're back in tesla and like i said we had this line which was the pre-market high happens to be the consolidation where the ticker was uh, having a um, not a hard time but it was struggling to get through this line it, it bumped its head right there pre-market now it's trying and trying and as soon as it popped above there you have it it's moving to the upside same thing here uh, we had the bottom which was the support of pre-market resistance that became support high or low all this matched with the spy bounce that we just looked at so basically you have a play that you know it's probably going most likely going to go up is going to go up from here if you look at your pnl yes it could have been probably down um quite a bit but like i said premiums from something that is out of the money that is losing um losing ground on uh on the day like uh you know y'all saw spy being looked very bearish at one point in just a few candles while well, everyone's jumping ship everyone's trying to get rid of their um pre premiums and contracts and tesla first thing you know everyone wants to get back in now i was happy with staying in and i call the 1200 target for uh tesla and i'll show you exactly how i got that um we have let's the way to do this is to look in this particular case is to look at the daily chart you look at the daily chart and you'll see a few things and i'll show you that in a second you look at where possible resistance can be see here there was resistance because it started moving down after it lost um it, it hit that same thing here and moved to a point and it moved down and the next one over is this because you know it opened at the bottom here went up there and closed at that area so basically there's resistance very close to all this area which happens to be the highest point one here is 197 uh, sorry, sorry 1197 
here is 1201 I believe and here is a little under so anything close to 1200 would be very close to a multiple top resistance um, that will probably get broken at one point however on the day on such a big day you can be uh, quite positive that even psychologically, 1,200 is going to be the uh, number to get to get through. So I'm okay. You also, as soon as the ticker starts to go down, premiums dramatically drop because everyone is jumping ship. So I'm more than happy to uh, sell while we're moving up, even if we're just you know shy of that 1,200. I believe we got out at 11.96 or so so basically um we took partial profit but the uh, the idea was to secure the the first plan that was to get out at 1200 so just to recap this whole thing i don't look at pnl so look at support from chart where is the support if you're afraid because you're it's moving back and you're like whoa okay it's pulling back not as, not as uh, a little further than what i thought it would well you need to have a line where you're confident that it could bounce on and you need to find proper support so i all i showed you guys where that support was and then that's the easy part i mean it's to stay in the hard part is to get out on a target and a target you have to look for proper resistance and you also you know there's resistance there resistance there resistance there and remember that whole numbers usually find um, a lot of sellers at that point so in the end you all saw that news was driven was driving this uh this tesla to the upside um we um were fortunate to find bullish buyers because the market held and we found the proper target to uh, secure a partial profit on this upside move so i hope you guys are learning from this and stay in touch and happy 2022 i hope you guys will um We'll watch more of these movies, uh, videos as we go along. Take care, folks.